Hello, this is Tri Kilo Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee, and I wanted to share with you an antenna that I built a while back, and uh, I even test on the air, and I'll share that here in a little bit. Uh, this is a uh, antenna very similar to you know MFJ uh, 1840 antennas, single band. Um, also, Lcraft has their AX1 multi band antenna. Well, I really didn't want to pay the price of those antennas. Um, like the, the L Craft is $109 for the AX1, and then another $60 for the 40 meter extension. And then uh, the MFJ single band ones are they're $49.95 each. And so I figured I wanted to, you know, build my own. I like building stuff, so I um, 3D printed this case here and used a toroid i will put a link in the description below on uh, the calculator i used but what i did was i went used a coil shortened antenna calculator to figure out the inductance that i needed and then uh, i went to kits and parts and used their calculator to figure out how many turns i need to get to get that inductance and what i did was i turned i, th I put like two or three extra turns on there and then I started removing turns using the antenna analyzer uh, till I got as close to uh, one to one SWR as I could. And then I uh, then used the end of the an antenna to, you know, shorten or, you know, shorten it up a little bit to get it even closer. So it works actually really well. I built one for 10 meters, 20 meters first. Um, I went and tested those out. Here's a short video of me testing that out on uh, Summits on the Air. Once I did that, I wanted to see if I could get a uh, higher band. So um, obviously, I originally wanted to put an extra toroid in here to start getting more inductance, but I figured, you know, that was getting a little complicated. So I decided to build a little uh, band extender. So I built this case here, which then can go right on the bottom of the antenna and then uh, right on my little adapter here. And then that gives me 30 meters. And I have, that's as far as I've made one. I haven't made one for 40 or anything. 30 meters works pretty well. Um, uh, it starts getting, you know, really compromised at that point. Uh, so 10 meters works really well. 20 meters works really well. Uh, 30 meters works. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a short antenna. These are around two feet tall when they're all done, 24 inches. And, uh, so, you know, so it's really compromised. The antennas I bought off, uh, telescope antennas I bought off Amazon, you can find a link in the description below where I got those. The Torres are from Kits and Parts. All the hardware is from uh, Amazon. Uh, this is a three millimeter screw. And what I did was I run that through. Uh, it, it cuts the threads in the telescoping whip very slightly. So first time you put it in, it's a little tight. And then I put a nut on the end which holds the end of the wire to the toroid so yeah um i will have this on thing averse uh for you to download if you want to build one yourself um and give it a try uh the also the other thing uh i also have is a little tripod mount with a little bulkhead bnc i threw a ground lug on here so you can put a uh, counterpoise if you wish um, it does help I'm using a short piece of uh, coax here, so that helps. Um, you can use this with a KX2, as you saw in the video, uh, as a handheld. Um, I, I used it on CW and sideband, and I made contacts um, with it just fine on 10 and 20 meters, so uh, it does work. So thanks for watching. Uh, go build one if you want to. Uh, like I said, I'll have everything on Thing Thingiverse uh, for you to download. 73, thanks for watching.